The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Meanwhile, Georgia and Turkey have expanded the scope of the free trade agreement between the two countries. The Turkish deputy minister who is visiting Georgia held meetings at the Ministry of Economy. Together with my Turkish counterpart, we have taken an important step towards strengthening and developing trade relations between Georgia and the Republic of Turkey, said Georgian Deputy Minister Gennady Arveladze. He explains that according to the negotiations, new export-oriented agro-products will be given in the free trade agreement. For example, Georgian honey is going to be sold in the Turkish market without any tariff barrier. We had a good discussion today with the Minister of Economy. And then also we are trying to include more agriculture uh, products in the, in, the, in, the, in the agreement, since there are uh, kind of um, some 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 uh, agriculture products, but it's not satisfactory for both sides. And also uh, we like to have a balanced trade, as 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 Georgia side also underlined this. We are trying to um, close the gap between our trade. But still, our main idea is to expand this trade to 3 billion, which is a target for our, uh, selected by our president. How can Georgian businesses expand their exports to the Turkish market, especially after this new chapter between trade relations of the two countries? This was the question that our reporter Tamter Jijabadze asked to the ambassador to Georgia and Turkish Deputy Minister of Trade as well, so Georgian entrepreneurs have a chance to take some advice. My idea for the Georgian exporters, uh, first, I would say do a market research. If you try to sell what is amply being produced in Turkey, it will be hard. So selling tomatoes to Turkey might be hard, but selling dried, for instance, fruits, we don't have feyhua. Well, okay, to give some you some ideas. <laughs> or uh, some juices we may not have, uh, some concentrates we may not have. Uh, or uh, there is still uh, the, the raw materials that the Turkish producers may be buying from different countries, but then they may exist here. So market research, uh, a good market research for the Turkish market is what the Georgian producers and uh, exporters would need. But also I think we can help as Turkey because we've been exporting for now some decades and I think we should uh, share this exper experience with the exporters, not only to Turkey. We can export things together to other markets. When we talk about the trade imbalance between two countries, uh, we should uh, take into consideration that Turkish exports to the world is 220, while the exports of Georgia is now, I think, around uh, maybe a, um, uh, around uh, seven or uh, billion something. So, uh, and this year I'm very pleased to see that the growth in the production here is increasing. At the end of the year, I think Georgia is going to see around 9% of growth. Well then, the Turkish Deputy Minister of Trade assesses Georgian potential as a transit country, especially in the pandemic. He says that Turkey has already benefited last year from Georgia's transit hub, while other countries' borders were closed. Um, Mustafa Tusku also pointed out that importance of the bakut bilisi Garsi railroad. Georgia is a uh, perfect country for us uh, to transit to other countries, especially to the third countries, uh, like in, in, in Central Asia countries. Especially last year, we have used this uh, lane very much, very often, since uh, some countries are closing their uh, borders because of COVID. We are trying to improve the railway system on our side, and we like to also update and align our uh, railway systems. So we think that railways can be these roads can be much more uh, usable since our exports now this year is going to be more than 220 billion US dollars. There is another interesting topic from this interview with the Turkish Deputy Minister of Trade. He is talking about challenges that Turkish companies face in Georgia, for instance. According to him, the predictability sometimes isn't clear in a Georgian business environment. We can say that um, the predictability sometimes is not uh, clear 
So for this, but uh, we have a uh, good dialogue with the uh, uh, Georgian authorities and they are helpful to us. We think there are uh, a large potential, especially in energy, in hydroelectricity. Uh, we think that we can do better than this. So we like to see uh, much more imitation to the current tenders. And also we like to see the, the current predictability continue in, 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 in the near future. When we're talking about the challenges in, in our country's uh, business environment, we should remind our viewers about and followers about the Namahwani hydropower plant. Of course, this project belongs to the Turkish company Enga, but as you know, investor terminated agreement with the government of Georgia due to force majeure and breach of contract. As a result, an $800 million hydropower plant would not be built. It became known from the announcement published by the parent company of Enka Renewables on the Istanbul Stock Exchange. Three months later we still do not know has the investor already left the project officially or not we can listen to what the Turkish ambassador to Georgia answered about this I think we all have lessons to learn uh, about the Namakhwani episode and I hope uh, the, uh, the company and the government uh, will be able to reach an agreement but again they're talking it's their issue but the lesson I learned from there on my behalf is that we have to work actively on public information uh, to uh, fight this fake news dissemination of propaganda and all that uh, and I think you would agree with me that obviously there was not going to be a tsunami that will swallow Kutaisi had the Namakhwani had been built while there are some issues connected to the energy sector, there are many success stories between Georgian and Turkish business relations. For instance, Turkish beer producers are going to increase their production lines in Georgia. General Manager FS Georgia is talking about the company's plans and challenges that the beer industry faces in our country. We want to expand our export operations, uh, so uh, we, uh, we are investing into new lines uh, to be able to uh, match with the demand. Uh, so uh, this is our uh, primary uh, priority. Uh, the biggest challenge you asked was uh, uh, cox increase. So uh, the costs are increasing, so therefore uh, the prices are under pressure. Uh, you can see it uh, from the inflation of the country and uh, we are trying to uh, keep it uh, under pressure as much as uh, we can uh, as the sector uh, but uh, it is a challenge uh, going forward for the country we are trying to increase our prices uh, below inflation uh, so that uh, you know uh, we don't uh, support the inflation level the checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.